Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. This video will show you really quickly how to remove wind noise from a video. Check out my Premiere Pro audio presets. If you're working with dialogue, different microphones, or you need to do some noise reduction in your videos, you need these audio presets. Head over to mrc.fm slash presets to download them now. That's mrc.fm slash presets. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boy. It sound right, boy. Let's hop in. A uh, good video from my friend Nick Nimmin. Make sure to check him out on YouTube. Let's play this. Them as allies instead and listen to that of wind you know, these competitors, these people that are doing... Lots and lots of wind there from Nick's filming. Now, an easy way to do this in Premiere is to go into either the effects workspace or the effects window here and search for the high pass filter. Drag and drop it onto your clip and then simply turn the cutoff up, start from 10, the minimum, and push it up until the wind disappears. Them as allies instead of, you know, these competitors, these people that are doing things differently than me, these people that- And right about there, it's completely gone. Pull it off. Taking my audience. And there's the wind back. So around 300, yes, the wind had gone, but it also thinned out the voice a little bit. So it's a quick, rough, easy, dirty way to remove wind from your dialogue quite simply. High pass. But if you want to take it up a notch and go even further, you might need to crack out Adobe Audition. Let me show you how that'll work. Right click the dialogue, and then we want to look here for edit clip in Adobe Audition. This is gonna render it straight out, bring it into Audition, really simple, not much else you need to worry about. Now in Audition, what I'm gonna do is open up a few things that are gonna help me analyze the wind in this clip. First of all, I'm gonna open up the spectral frequency display or Shift and D. And you can see down here in yellow, that's all the wind. There it is, okay? And if I switch on preview mode, top right, I can see a before and after of what I'm doing, but I'll focus that in a minute. What I'm actually gonna do is zoom right in on this and try and get in on that wind, which is here. So there it is in those low frequencies. And if I go into my effects rack, and bring in something here called parametric equalizer under filter and EQ. And I'll set that to default and I'm gonna put a high pass filter which will roll the wind off. They're taking my audience like. There's the wind gone. If we go to preview mode now, you'll see, look, the wind has rolled off on this after clip. So that's before with the yellow for the wind and that's after with the wind disappeared. If I wanna be even more accurate, I can switch on a low pass filter and then we can grab that LP and drag it down. Slowly drag it up till we hear dialogue. So around 200, we're starting to hear dialogue bleed through there. Okay, right up at 324, we're definitely cutting off the low frequencies of the dialogue. So let's dial that back. And we're gonna say 160 to 200 is where we want the high pass filter to be. So high pass back on, let's put 200 in there. Click okay to that. Wind is disappearing, maybe push it up ever so slightly more. Now the wind's really gone. They're taking my audience. And that is the sweet spot for your wind. We'll then cross out, apply that to our clip, switch off preview mode. And the best thing, we'll save this out, control or command S, straight back into Premiere Pro, and boom, the clip updates with the edits you've done in Adobe Audition. It really is as simple as that to remove wind, either using high pass in Adobe Premiere Pro or the more detailed spectral analysis available to you in Adobe Audition. Make sure you like this video and also if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel and ding the bell so you never miss another audio video from me. Thumbs up, subscribe for more, musicradiocreative.com.